Hello. Uh, as part of the CREA STEAM project, which we will discuss, this paper is titled A Gray Web Analysis of Existing STEAM Diversity Initiatives. So to give some background about STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, uh, there's currently a large gap in the field in terms of diversity, where we define diversity as differences in gender, race, immigration status, economic background, among many others. And this diversity gap hurts members of those diverse groups who have less access to STEAM roles, whether in education or in careers, as well as to STEAM society overall, which has a smaller field of candidates to draw from. And so this is where the CREA STEAM project comes in, which is an EU Erasmus Plus project. And its goal is to improve those diversity gaps using the method of developing what it calls a hands-on STEAM lab and accompanying curriculum. So what is the STEAM lab? An example could be here. It's a very hands-on space for students to learn about STEAM. And it's a combination of a fabrication lab, a media lab, a user lab, and it's created using strategies from existing initiatives. And that last bullet point is where this paper and research work comes into play, finding those existing initiatives. So how did we do that? Well, we conducted an informal gray web systematic review of STEAM diversity initiatives. That's a lot. So, gray web. We were not looking for formally published papers or anything like that. We wanted more underground, grassroots type organizations that were doing on the ground work with STEAM and diversity. We then conducted an informal systematic review because it's very difficult to do formal work on this body of research and categorized those STEAM diversity initiatives. Our final uh, data set included 124 initiatives from around the world, and we analyzed them according to their founding year, their STEAM content areas, and their diversity target areas. So some of the results that you'll of course see in the full presentation. First, we see a massive increase in creation of diversity-based initiatives that started around 2010. And we can draw from that an increased interest in STEAM as well as in diversity, which is not particularly surprising, but it still shows a very stark change in diversity initiative creation. When we look at STEAM content areas, we can see that STEM is the most common overall, which is not particularly surprising since it's a very famous acronym, very popular, but it does show us that the inclusion of art as a content area is more recent. And of the one content initiatives that only focus on one area, technology is the most common, mostly due to programming initiatives which are extremely popular. In terms of diversity target areas, gender was the most common, which again may not be too surprising given how popular that area is to, to look at. And also interesting is the race tag, which is geographical and effectively, at least in the context that we looked at, only ascribes uh, US initiatives. So in terms of next steps following this paper, the full data set is cited in the paper and is available publicly. And the insights that come from this will be used to design the CREA STEAM STEAM Lab curriculum. So we want to say thanks to all of the CREA STEAM consortium, which includes universities and schools from across Europe. And with that, we'll end. Thank you very much.